is Talk of the Town. And now for some more good advice, let's send things over to Leland. All right, that's stressing some folks out. <laughs> uh, we've got a story and a, a segment about stress. Believe it or not, experts say summertime can be stressful for children who struggle with anxiety. Allison Edwards is a local therapist who helped kids cope, and she's getting lots of attention for her new book, Why Smart Kids Worry and What Parents Can Do to Help. Welcome to Talk of the Town. Good to have you with us Thank today. You. So we know that as we get ready for the start of school here in a couple of weeks, that is always a stressful time for many kids. But summertime can be stressful, especially for those who, who struggle with anxiety. So if we will talk about why that can be a stressful time of the year. Sure. Um, summertime is stressful because there's a lot of unstructured time. And the mind, I say the anxious mind, is kind of like a gerbil on a wheel. Uh -huh. it, needs, it just keeps running. And so in the summertime, kids don't have a lot of things to do. And so that unstructured time can cause a lot of worry and anxiety. And so what I tell parents to do, um, I give them tools in such as my book is structure the unstructured and okay. give them, you know, put structure to the day, help kids know what's going to come next, have a master calendar. Um, those things will really help kids get into the, use, the routine of summer and mm -hmm. feel much better. All right. Now, stress can come from many different areas, and sometimes it can even come from just being a part of or listening to an adult conversation. Mm -hmm. Talk about that and how we can maybe then from that steer to be more kid friendly. Mm -hmm. The one thing you want to do for parents is just to protect your kids from adult information. And I like to just describe it as saying this is adult information and this is kid information. And if your kids over here, you're talking about something, it's just really important to say, you know, that's an adult problem. I'll take care of that. You focus on the kid things. Mm -hmm. So it's important to not, you know, have the news playing, not talk about world events, your finances, your marriage status. It's important to just keep kids on the kid friendly level. All right. So let's talk about the news part of this because mm -hmm. there is a ton ton of stuff that's gone on recently, whether it's on the news end of things or just from a weather standpoint, because a lot of kids are stressed out when we have big weather stories and weather dominates the news a lot. What are some tips that you offer parents that to help them through those times? Well, if, parent, if kids come to parents with questions, I always encourage parents to ask what the kids already know. And a lot of times parents assume that kids know the full story, and they don't. Mm -hmm. So parents tell them too much. So if a child comes to you with a question about a natural disaster or a weather event, ask them, so what did you hear? What did you see? What do you already know? Because oftentimes it isn't what you think. And so you can help kids by not giving them too much information. Mm -hmm. Another thing is just to not have adult news and world events on and, and talked about in front of children. Okay. That's interesting because, yeah, I, I, I'm like you. I think we would assume that they know everything, mm -hmm. but sometimes we're telling them way too much as yes, part of the conversation. Yes, yes. Now, one of the things that you've developed is an anxiety tracker. If you will, mm -hmm. talk about that that people may be able to download from a, a, an iPhone and how can it be useful for someone? Okay. Um, so anxiety goes in waves, and when you're in the middle of it, you just feel like it's always been there and it's not going to go away. So the anxiety tracker is a daily, it's an app, and it has a calendar and it's color-coded so okay. for if you have a, a day with low anxiety you would have a green if it was a middle anxiety you'd have a yellow and if it was high anxiety you'd have a red and so what you can do is sort of see anxiety throughout the month or the mm -hmm. year and track it so if you're anxious on Sundays you can see the pattern and, and wonder what's triggering you on Sunday so this is really useful for adults and for children okay and also something too that might be useful for somebody who's going through therapy that then they mm -hmm. can share with yes. their therapist yes you can email your therapist your anxiety tracker information and before when you get in there say hey look this is the uh -huh. month I've had see I'm going through a lot right now what's happening to yeah. you on Monday <laughs> exactly right. exactly all right great information thank you thank for being you. with us today I appreciate that. now you will find why smart kids worry and what parents can do to help wherever books are sold back with more talk of the town right after this this portion of talk of the town brought to you by electronic express